Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to uh, learn what is the architecture of GSP or how a GSP page being processed. So let's start it. Initially what happens, as you can see in this diagram, that there is a client which sends an HTTP request to the server. As a normal page, your browser is doing this activity with the web server that you have say uh, requested to find the password of a specific user okay in that case what it will do is it will simply send that request to the server okay say uh, whatever kind of request it is like you have seen the authentication window in which you have a user id and password say i have been submitted the user id I have been submitted the password and then I am clicking on the OK or the submit button. What will happen? The client is sending the detail of user ID and password to the server so that server should process it and check if the password given by you is valid or not. So this kind of request is basically called the HTTP request. In second step, what is happening? that the server is reading uh, whatever the page you are uh, sending means it could be a JSP page it could be an, a normal HTML page it could be uh, any other extensional page in that case the web server recognizes what kind of HTTP request it is and for which kind of page if it is for JSP it forward it to the JSP engine JSP engine is basically responsible to process the page the JSP page okay so in this step what is happening server is reading and recognizing the HTTP request and finding if the page is dot JSP page then it will send it to the JSP engine so that it could further be processed after that what is happening the JSP engine is loading the JSP page from disk and then it converts it into servlet content see this is very important in that case that every JSP page is going to be converted into servlet first and who is going to do this it is by the JSP engine so as in this diagram you are seeing that hello JSP is coming to the server it is recognizing it is loading that it is a JSP page then the it is sending it to the uh, JSP engine and it is being converted to the hello servlet.java this is basically a servlet page so servlet source code may it is being converted and this specific phase is called translation phase means the JSP content is getting translated into Java code right so everything that you have learned in servlets so you can see that uh, whatever code that you are writing in Java and HTML and everything is being converted into Java code means the whole JSP page is getting converted into servlet after that the servlet must be compiled so what JSP engine is doing it is compiling the servlet into executable class so initially we have the file called .jsp then we have the file called .java and then we have the file called class that means the java file is being compiled and it is converted to the same hello server dot class file so this is request processing phase so we have translation phase first in which the gsp page is translated to java code and we have request processing phase in which the uh, specific java code source code servlet is getting converted to the class file after the class file is being generated so what is happening the servlet engine loads the servlet class and execute it because JSP engine what is the task of JSP engine is to convert it into Java code and then compile it to the class file and then the task is handed over to the servlet engine because now it becomes a servlet so servlet engine what servlet engine is doing it is loading the servlet class that we can see here that hello servlet.class file is being given so it will load it and then it will execute it during execution the servlet produce an output in html format as you normally know that so whenever the servlet is being processed it returns you the html format output so this output is further passed on the web server by the servlet engine 
inside an HTTP response. So the data is being sent it again to the server in form of an HTTP response. And finally, the web server forward it back in form of response to the browser or the client which has been requested earlier. So as in diagram, you can see that initially the client had requested to the server. Server checks if it is a JSP page, then it will send it to the JSP engine. JSP engine convert it into Java code and then compile it into class file. After that, servlet engine takes care of this. It convert, it process it, it executes it and send it to the server in form of HTTP response. After that, the server send it back to the client with the required output that is being uh, printed by or processed by the specific client. So this is how basically the process happens. Once again, we can see that how this process is getting up inside the JSP container or web server. Initially, HTML submit button is being pressed. A request for JSP file is sent it. This JSP file is being translated into servlet source code dot uh, Java file. Then JSP engine again compiles it into servlet compile dot class file, which is then further uh, processed by the servlet engine and then delivering the response to the client again. So this phase is the translation phase. In translation phase, what is happening? The JSP is converted to Java, and then in compilation phase, what is happening? Your dot uh, java file is being converted to the dot class file and after that it will be executed so this is what basically the architecture of you can say the gsp page how gsp page is getting processed it is very simple both the gsp engine and servlet engines are working and this is very important in that case that we don't need to have need to take care of the big large uh, servlet class files and we do not have to remember all kind of uh, the syntaxes that servlet uh, usually follows so using this architecture, it is very easy to write simple uh, embedded code of HTML and JSP uh, that we can write very easily. And then uh, we left the burden of, we left the all over task of uh, converting it to the servlet and then processing that servlet for us is uh, to the JSP engine and servlet engine. So uh, what is basically JSP translating or JSP passing? These are the specific questions that you, you may be asked in that way. So the JSP translation or JSP passing means the JSP container converting the JSP file to servlet. As we have seen in different previous slides, that JSP container or JSP engine converting the JSP file to servlet source file and dot Java extension. So this basically this step is called JSP translation or JSP parsing. Okay. So what is JSP compilation? Again, the JSP container software compiles the servlet code or Java file into class file that is known as JSP compilation. What is JSP execution? In JSP execution, the class file of servlet is executed by JSP container and output of execution is sent to the client as response. So this is JSP execution means the final dot class file is being executed uh, by the servlet engine and then sending it back to the uh, client as response is the GSP execution process. So thank you very much guys for listening and uh, keep watching and keep subscribing for seeing better videos. Thank you very much.